Gila Guide here. I'm going to be showing you a setup for the Madrid warp that I found recently. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how it works, but I have a bit of a setup that I use. So after I go off the ramp, there's a very clear reference in this signpost here. So what I do is I go down from the side post. You'll see this little bright patch show up. This is the first visual indicator. I look right here once it's done, and then I point somewhere over here. So I really want to avoid landing on this red square here. And then on the next, so went back here. The red square is back here. And this square that I was looking at here is the one that where that's generally where you want to land. This blue square is actually where you need to get to in order to um, get the warp. But most of the times that I've gotten this, um, I bounce off of this green square and then land on the blue square. So it's actually possible to land directly on the blue square. See this one? I, I'm far enough that if I had enough, so it's possible to actually land on this blue square. But if you go past the blue square in any capacity anywhere around here, um, you will just get a corner cut. You will not get the warp. So what you want to do is land on the green square, bounce over to the blue square, and then you end up resetting. If for some reason you land directly on the blue square, you don't need to do a bounce uh, as long as you find a way to uh, reset before you get off of this blue square. Because once you do that, then you're just going to end up with a corner cut. And the corner cut's a little slower, I think. So... Uh, yeah, that's my setup. I'm going to be uh, including a bunch of examples afterwards so I can show you what I mean. And one other strategy you can use is when you're on the blue square, you can tap your brake button, and that instantly, um, instantly re stops your momentum and resets you, uh, of course. So that's one way you can avoid going past it if you have extra speed, uh, but you still land on this blue square.